buzz generated by Lori Witt. And Lori had made, had made a statement to some folks at a regional meeting talking about one of her agencies, Jefferson City, Tennessee. And when they came back and told me the story about Jefferson City, Tennessee, I couldn't believe it. To the point, I actually emailed Lori and said, Lori, is this true? And I want to tell you about Jefferson City. And this is from Lori, and it's actually an email that she forwarded to me from their director, Donna Hall. It says, we need to recognize my entire agency for the work that they did January 7th through 10th during a winter snow disaster. Jefferson City received five inches of snow and ice in some areas. It was on the weekend. During this time, we had to hire drivers with four-wheel drives, and we had staff double-team with other staff to do business. I'm glad to report that of those four days, listen to this, we successfully performed 292 visits on 136 different patients in two counties in rural Tennessee. And they had eight IV cases during that time, which is the most that Donna had seen in 14 years. And as if that weren't amazing enough, listen to the commitment. I'm proud to report we had zero missed visits during this tour. Their office even stayed open all day, both business days, fell during that week. Phenomenal job. And then they go to talk about a nurse that I think really lives out that mantra. And when you talk about somebody who goes the extra mile, I want you to hear the story about our nurse, Angela Clapp. Angela's actually a PR in nurse. She's going to nurse practitioner school. And she does visits for us on the weekend. And during that four day period in January, five inches of snow, roads iced over, snow everywhere, roads impassable. Angela knew that we had one particular patient that had to get twice daily, um, I can't think of the term now, the term's still in my mind. No, not insulin, uh, they're pumping, uh, I knew I put this down too early. <laughs> Good gracious. Twice daily, I don't, oh, infusions. Yeah. Thank you. That's my medical knowledge for you. So this patient had to get infusions at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Somebody had to go see this patient, or this patient would be harmed. And Angela said, well, I live closest to this patient. I will do the visits. But what Angela found out was the roads were so impassable that in order to reach this patient, she would have to walk the last mile through the snow. And she did it. She did it every morning and every night. Thursday, we're going to go to breakfast. 